All right, if you're like me and you're in the same boat, you, uh, you just purchased a new vessel or new vessel to you. It did not have a manufacturer to come and show you how to work everything. You have this electrical panel and you're really not sure the proper way of doing things. I'm going to show you in this video exactly what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, and maybe some tips along the way. So first I want to talk about the panels itself. So this panel that I have over here, you'll see, has uh, shore one and shore two. So hopefully you guys can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit. So this is my AC panel. So all of this on this panel is actually electrical AC current. So alternating current comes straight from the shore or is running off our generator. So everything on this panel is DC loads. So all of these things, these are your lights, your pumps, your navigation lights, engine room lights, trim tabs, helm, the head. Uh, windless, bilge pumps, everything over here is DC power, so uh, direct current. Okay, from here I also have our generator panel. So we have our controls for the generator engine and then we also have some, uh, some gauges. Um, I actually have installed a Victron Energy um, battery monitor just because I personally, so these DC uh, loads uh, gauges were not working. Um, I prefer the Victron. I think the screen is better. I like the, the views that it makes. Uh, and I like the information that it gives me. So, so I went with a Victron. So, all right. So on our AC panel, I am sitting at the dock right now. I have shore one lit up. Okay. Not sure if you can see that on the, the screen, but this, this light here says shore one is lit up. Shore two is not. Okay, shore one, so this boat has two 30 amp shore power cords. So when I say two, I mean there's two actual physical wires running from the dock, running to the boat. Okay, two 30 amp cords. One of those cords plugs into what I call load group one. So which is load group one, goes straight down the line. The other cord plugs into load group two, so which goes straight down the line. Okay, I have the option on this boat to transfer power from load group one over to load group two. You notice here this transfer switch is actually lit up and the transfer load is on. So I right now have the ability to have two, uh, two 30 amp cables plugged into the boat, but I'm using one. So the only issue with that is I have to monitor my 30 amp uh, uh, outlet, I need to make sure that I don't over overuse what the uh, pedestal can give me. So shore one right now is connected. I have my air conditioner running. I have some outlets and that's it. I don't have anything else that is on on shore one. I do have the transfer switch lit. So I'll turn that off and all of these loads now just went off. So I have my battery charger, refrigerator, microwave, stove, lights, and uh, an ice maker. So all of those were were now turned off now that I turned the battery or the transfer switch off. So me personally on this boat, I only run one wire uh, because I can transfer from one leg to the other. So, so let me show you. So when you first get the boat, you plug it in, you want to make sure all of your loads are off. So kill everything. You don't want any load on. Okay. And then you would plug in the wire. Okay. So when you plug in the boat first time, you go to a dock, you plug in, you should have no, nothing on, nothing listed, and you should have green lights for shore one and shore two. Okay. And exactly. If you're only using one, then you should have only one plugged in, one lit up. Okay. You have a reverse polarity somewhere on your boat. It will tell you reverse polarity, which basically means there's a problem with the dock. There's a problem with the shore power. Uh, stop what you're doing, unplug the boat, go tell the dock master you have an electrical issue on, on, the, on the dock. Okay, assuming you do not have the reverse polarity light on, on either of your legs, then you're ready to move to the next step. The next step is where you're going to get power from. So I'm going to use shore one, I'm not going to use the generator. Okay, and then I'm going to light up exactly what I want. So shore one, I will kick on, so which I've moved on. I decided since I'm in South Florida, I'm going to turn the air conditioner on. I'm leaving the water heater off and I'm going to turn the port outlet and the starboard outlet on. Okay. I don't need anything else. I will turn the deck lights on just because I like to have them on in case I want to use them outside. So those are the controls that I'll have on. Then 
I will come over and I will transfer power from the first leg to the second leg. Okay, from there I will turn on my battery switch or my battery charger and I'm gonna leave, yep, I'm gonna leave everything else off because the only thing I need is a charger. So I know that if I leave the water heater off and air conditioner on and the battery charger on, I will stay under the 30 amp threshold and I don't have to worry about popping a fuse. So these meters up here should tell me that information, but they don't, uh, it's just old, but it's not something that I need. I, I, uh, I've known just from uh, running the boat, I know what, what will uh, power on and what will uh, kill or trip the breakers. Let's say, so right now we're parked at the dock. Let's say I'm getting ready to take off and I'm gonna go take the boat out for a little bit and I'm gonna run the generator the whole time, okay? So what I'm gonna do is come down here to my generator panel and I'm gonna hold down our pre the preheat, let it run for a little bit and I'm gonna actually start it. So you might be able to hear that in the background. So the generator right now is running uh, the voltage. You can see the meter is starting to move a little bit. Uh, it's pretty cold water temperature, so it's still under 120 degrees, which is normal. Uh, and then we do have some pretty good oil pressure in there. So letting the generator run, letting it warm up just a little bit. You can see when I come over to my AC side, because the generator is going to produce AC power, you can see my generator light here is now illuminated. So it gives me the option to push power from the generator. I have a slide switch, so this prevents me from turning shore one, the electrical cord on, and the generator at the same time. Because you can only take loads in from one, one area or the other. You can't take them in from both, okay? So what I will end up doing is I will kill all of the loads on the uh, on the boat, so all the all the legs, so turn off all the shore power items, okay? I will turn off shore one, and then I will slide up and then turn the generator on. So I'm now running the boat off of the generator, however, nothing has loads to it yet. So once I get the generator up to temperature, which I've actually already ran it, so it's already up to temperature, then I'll start turning on my loads that I would like to have on. So I'm gonna turn on the air conditioner, the starboard, uh, outlet the port outlet the lights so i've got my transfer on i'm going to turn the battery charger back on and i don't need the stove or any of the other things so so right now we are actually running the boat off of our generator power so one way that you can verify that is the victron um, uh, energy monitor so this one right here this is showing me my battery voltage so i've got 14.29 it's infinity, so the amount of hours I can run, batteries are at 100%, not drawing any current, uh, watts positive 25, and then we're only putting in basically one amp because the batteries are full. So it's really just keeping, a, keeping it on basically a trickle charge or a monitor at this time. So, so I'm gonna be out, so I've got the generator on, got the, uh, all the powers connected, so I'm running basically the boat on generator. I go out, I go fishing for, you know, I don't know, eight, 10 hours, come back. And when I come back, I'm gonna do basically everything in reverse. I'm gonna plug back into shore power, okay? So I have my shore power here, which is illuminated, and we have shore one. I'm gonna have all of the loads that are currently on the generator. I'm going to turn all of the loads back off. So kill all the loads. Uh, I'm gonna move my generator to off. So we're no longer running anything on the generator. And then I'm going to move the shore one back to on and then do everything in reverse. So I have the cable connected, bring the uh, air conditioner on, the outlets, and the deck lights. And I'm going to bring the battery charger back on. So from there, I still do have the motor running for the generator. So I also need to kill the motor. Okay. So it's good to let it run for a little bit, get it uh, back to a, an idle temperature, and then go ahead and turn it off. So, and all you do on the Westerbeek, so this is a 7.6 kilowatt of the Westerbeek generator, so all I do is hold the stop button, and it will kill the generator, which just turned off for us. So, and that's it. We're back connected to shore power, air conditioner's back on, and we're back, uh, you know, ready to uh, clean the fish. So let me know if you guys got anything from this. Hit the like button, give me a subscribe. 
uh, really does help the algorithm put some work into these uh, videos it does help the algorithm if you guys uh, give me that like button um, and let me know what you want to see future uh, anything anything in the future you want to see especially around the electrical um, I've actually done a lot of work on the electrical system of this boat um, pulling into it and really digging in uh, so if there's something you're missing on yours you want to know uh, I might have the same or, or ran into the issue on mine so uh, let me know